Welcome to another video. So, Ader and Klein are amazing, and currently, nothing can beat them, even if they top any leaderboards or look cool. But Ader has launched some upgrades that intrigued me, and this upgrade is really good for people who like to code for free, like me. Let's have a look. The latest version is the one that was launched to support the Haiku model, and I mentioned this update in the Haiku testing video. But what I didn't mention was the other updates in this release, which is a really good update. It now allows you to easily apply file edits from ChatGPT, Claude, or other web apps. Now, just by reading this, you'll know why this is super good. It basically now allows you to generate code from your favorite chat interface, like ChatGPT, Claude, or any other place which is generally free. And then you can just copy the message and run Ader with the Apply Clipboard Edits option and the file name. And it will take that code from your clipboard and apply it to your file as it sees fit. Now, you'll need to have a model configured in Ader for this to work. But you can probably use a simple or free model from Gemini or Mistral. And it should apply the changes pretty well because it just needs to apply them to the file and doesn't need to generate the code since that's already done by ChatGPT or Claude or whatever you're using. So, this should be really cool and we'll try it out as well. Apart from this, you have the same haiku command that has been updated to the new haiku and everything, so that's good. But let's now check this stuff out and see how you can now probably use Ader for free and build some cool things with it without compromising on code quality. So, first of all, you'll need to upgrade Ader to the latest version with this command. If you don't have Ader and are a new user, you can also run the same command, and it will install it if you don't have it. Once you do that, you can start using it. But how should you configure Ader if you're just using it for copying and pasting? Well, first of all, we'll need a model that will be used to apply the code we'll copy. I recommend Gemini Flash for this because it's free, has a great rate limit, and is fast. So, just go to Google AI Studio and get the API key from there. Now, once you have that, just return to the terminal and add the environment variable to the terminal with the export command. Now, you can start using the Gemini model like this. If you want to keep it set as default, you can just export a model variable and enter Gemini there. And you can use it with Gemini by default by just typing in Ader. You can also create an environment file and keep it there, and it will load automatically as well if you're in the same folder. Anyway, now let me show you how you can use it. First, I'll show you how you can just use it simply, and then I'll tell you how to make this work in an even bigger repository or code base. Now, go to the chat interface you want to use. I'd recommend ChatGPT, DeepSeek, or any other that you'd like, including Claude. But with the Claude free tier, you'd get rate limited too fast, whereas ChatGPT is not so rate limited and DeepSeek is not rate limited at all. So you can choose whatever you want. I'll focus on ChatGPT. So let's start with something basic. I asked ChatGPT to make me a to-do app using HTML, CSS, and JS and put it all in one file, and I got it. Now, you can see that this is the code, and we can just copy the whole message. Then, we can go to Ader, use the Apply Clipboard Edits flag, and enter the file name. I don't have the file existing as of now, so it should create the file and put in the code. Let's see. Okay, it seems to be doing that. And it's done. If we look at the code, you can see that it applied it pretty well. We can also run it, and you can see that it looks pretty amazing and works. Now, let's say that we want to make some edits to it. So, all you'd need to do is ask ChatGPT to edit something, like adding an edit option. 
it produces the code, and we can copy it. Then, just run the same command in Ader. And once we do that, you'll see that the code is updated. And if we run it, this also works, which is amazing. Now, this is all good, but not everyone would want to create an HTML page and work with only two or three files. Well, that's where you can use the next tool, the Files to Prompt tool. It's a really useful tool. It allows you to concatenate a directory full of files into a single prompt for use with LLMs, which we'll use to give the context of our whole project to chat GPT or anything with one prompt. So, let's see how well it works. I have the Panels app open here, which I created in one of the previous videos. Now, this is an Expo app, so the main source code is generally inside the app directory. So, let's just run files to prompt on that folder. Now, you can see that we have this long prompt here. It has all the context and code of all files. Now, let's write a simple prompt explaining what all this code is, which generally would be something like this. Now, once you have input that, you can ask it to make the change you want and also ask for the file name you want to be changed. In this case, I asked it for a simple welcome modal on the home page. So, we have the code here with the file name. Now, you can just copy the code here and then put it in Ader. Once you do that, you'll see that it applies the code. If we run it, you can see it looks good and did what we asked it. Also, make sure that when you get code to be edited in multiple files for one change, first copy the changes of one file, apply it, then copy the next file's changes and apply them. It's a little tedious for sure, but it's great that you can do all this for literally free now without compromising quality, which is amazing. Plus, it also allows you to keep things simple, much easier to navigate, and you'd mostly only need to update the context once and then just apply edits, which is also good. So, this is a great new option and works really well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.